Hello friends, welcome to Civil Engineering Exam. Today we are going to see the problem related with soil mechanics in the topic of permeability. So the constant head method. So the problem is calculate the coefficient of permeability of soil sample 6 meter is height. So height is sample height is 6 meter and 50 centimeter square in area in the cross sectional area. If the quantity of water equal to 450 ml passed down in 10 minutes, okay, so water is collected in 10 minutes is 450 ml under the effective constant head of 40 cm. On the oven drying, the test specimen weighs 495 grams, so that is a dry weight. Taking the specific gravity of solid as uh, solid solid is 2.65, calculate the seepage velocity also. So we have to find out the coefficient of permeability K and as well as the uh, seepage velocity V S. Yes. Okay, so we have to find out. So now uh, the given value, so given, so the given L is 6 centimeter. So then area is given that is 50 centimeter square. So then quantity of water Q is given that is 450 ml. So then time T is uh, given that is 10 minutes. So then H also given so the uh, head is 40 centimeter. Okay, so these are all the given values. So we have to find out the K and Vs. So now K the formula will be K equal to Q divided by T into L divided by H into 1 by A. Okay, so the formula we know uh, the for the constant permeability test. So the coefficient of permeability equal to QL divided by TH into A. Okay, so now we know the formula. So now we can directly substitute all the values over here. So now K equal to, so the Q value is 450 into the L value is 6 centimeter divided by T is 10 minutes so uh, we can uh, convert into seconds so we can uh, convert into 10 into 60 seconds okay into the H value is given that is 40 okay so into divided by area so area also given in centimeter square that is 50 okay solving this we got the value of 2.25 into 10 power minus 3 centimeter per second okay so if case we have to convert into uh, day so now we can convert into day that is 1.944 meter per day okay so now we can convert into meter and day so uh, for for the case we can convert into meter so we can put uh, 10 power minus 2 over here so in seconds we can convert into uh, day conversion we can 60 uh, second into 60 minutes so that is 1 hour into 24 hours okay so now we got the value of 1.944 meter per day okay. next thing is we can find out the seepage velocity that is v equal to q divided by t into a Okay, so now we can substitute all the values over here. So the Q is uh, 450 divided by, so time is uh, 10 minutes into 60 uh, second for converted to seconds into 50. Okay, so now solving this, we got the value of 1.5 into 10 power minus 2 centimeter per second. Okay, so this is the discharge velocity. So now we have to find out the uh, seepage velocity that is Vs. So Vs the formula will be uh, uh, discharge velocity divided by N. So N is porosity. So now we can convert, we can find out the porosity from the void ratio. So the void ratio we can uh, find out from the dry density. Okay, so now we can uh, find out the dry density that is rho d equal to mass by volume. So m d divided by volume. So now uh, the mass dry mass is given that is 495 divided by volume is area into height. So that is uh, 50 into 6. Okay, so area into length. So now uh, we got the value of 1.65 gram per centimeter cube. Okay, so now uh, we can find out uh, rho d equal to um, g into rho w divided by 1 plus e. So we know the formula. So from this formula we can find out the e. So because the only unknown is e. So now rho d is equal to 1.65 equal to g uh, we know the g value is given that is 2.65 into uh, rho w is 1 divided by 1 plus e so here the only unknown is e so from that uh, we can find out the e equal to 0 0.606 
okay so from that e we can find out the n value so n equal to e divided by 1 plus e we know so now e equal to 0 0.606 divided by 1 plus uh, 0.606 okay solving this we got the value of 0 0.3 Seven, seven. Okay, so this is the n value that is 37 percentage. Okay, so now we can uh, uh, substitute over here. So that is 1.5 into 10 power minus 2 divided by 0 0.377. Okay, so solving this we got the value of seepage velocity equal to uh, 3.975 into 10 power minus 2 centimeter per second. Okay, so this is the seepage velocity. Okay, so this is the method we can solve the problem. Again, you will see next video. Thank you.